I am a visual artist. I practice a lot of traditional mediums, uh, such as painting and drawing, but I also love contemporary work. I love doing performance art. That is my heart and soul, but I do find more of a meditative and uh, creative space painting. Painting is definitely my first love. <laughs> What got me into this kind of art was the few people I had in high school that were, you know, doing doodles here and, and the few people in my art classes that kind of actually gave a damn. Uh, I didn't really see art as a career at all at that point. I wanted to be a physical therapist, but <laughs> I knew art was my favorite class. It was like the only place where I could like relax, you know, and, and kind of let my mind go. And I knew I was decent at it, um, but I kind of found it through my family, I would say, is the, the main source. People say, oh, in school this, middle school that. It was definitely my family that, specifically my father, he got us on the table to draw together with my brothers. and. He always enforced some type of hobby or creativity in that aspect ever since we were children. And so I think that that for me was kind of like a, a freedom or like a liberty from like a young age. Like, oh, I can, I can kind of go wild on a paper or, or, you know, get my hands dirty. And I, I loved it. When I get started on a new piece, it is like, my mind goes blank with a million different ideas every single time. I think that preparation for my paintings at least takes sometimes an hour, an hour to two hours. And that's me sitting in my chair, looking at the painting. That's me getting up, forgetting all of my tools that I need to bring to the table. Now I'm in a different headspace of like, oh, what do I actually need to put this down? Do I need to look at photos? Do I need to take, oh, now I need a bathroom break. Like there's so much that kind of goes in before prepping for it. But at the end of the day, I know that if I have my sketch pad and I have, you know, my resources and I can have a moment, at least a few hours to get into a painting, like it's, definitely a headspace thing that that takes a while to step into a painting it's not like boom straight to it um all the time but you know i think that's the process of it and you have to be patient with it materials that i usually go for are oil i kind of learned oil in my most recent years the past two years especially with like academic training i started off with acrylics um, I keep both of those, you know, on my hip. Those are definitely like my two mediums uh, that I love. But I recently have uh, revisited drawing and I used to be very stubborn about not drawing. As much as I would do little crappy doodles, you know, I wouldn't spend time, uh, you know, doing the fundamentals. And I think that drawing is such an important language for careers across the spectrum. Um, anything that you can think of, you can make. And sometimes the first thing that you need to do is get to a drawing board and, and make that happen. So just fundamentally, I, I really enjoyed visiting drawing and it's kind of come back into my language of how I create anything. And that's past painting, that's for you know a new job opportunity, that's for meeting somebody and, and coming up with a collaborative idea. I'm always getting back to that drawing board and trying to physically see it before it happens. My approach to my pieces, I think it changes with every idea. I think that you meditate on an idea and most times, you know, you wake up in the morning and you, you wanna play a different song depending on your mood, right? So you choose something that is validated in that one moment but say you're at the end of the day and you're no longer wanting a screamo or an emotional mood. So it's sometimes it is very weird to step into, you know, in front of your painting and you're like, I want to portray this type of emotion, but I'm not feeling that right now. So that comes into the process of like really getting back to that feeling because that's something that needs to come into your work. 
sometimes like you can get so technical and you have all these different spectrums of how you're going to execute it but at the end of the day like coming back to that emotion is more important for all of my ideas so i think that um it definitely transcends into different feelings um different mediums say different things i think that that is still a question not answered cuz i wouldn't be coming back to my chair every time to make new work if i knew that answer i'm always looking for some type of uh, gratification with something i see in my head or something i need to feel and express and um it is different every time something that inspires me every time uh that i get into my work is definitely nature it's definitely uh my my grounding and my center of spirituality painting is kind of a solo dolo type of work and um to really get into that concentration i do like you know maybe a little bit of music but most times i like to be outside i like to be um in an environment where i feel free i don't feel cramped and for me going out and taking a hike and feeling small is like liberating you know and sometimes you need that to to release and to just kind of come back to what it is you need to do and so for me i i always kind of bring the world of god made and man made into my work cuz i think we have constant conflict with you know things that are made from a societal perspective and things that are given to us, you know, from a higher place. And to mesh those together is what we are constantly. So I think that I like to portray that essence and like bring that into my work cuz most times that's what I'm sitting in the seat with is a complete influence of the outer world and me looking for something that is completely isolated and quiet and still and peaceful. So I like that to be in my work cuz I think it brings me clarity. and i like to bring that clarity um of kind of a grounding for people i just hope my art inspires somebody to give a damn like there is a lot of people that struggle and we all struggle with being consistent about something and we run out of fuel and we need other people to inspire us to keep on doing what we love to do. The only reason I'm here is because of the multitude of artists that I've seen that sparked something deep down that when I was not feeling motivated or feeling uh as creative one day they brought that joy and they brought that essence of of sharing, you know, and and I think that just even me showing artwork or sharing something is enough. It doesn't matter what it is, like the fact that I can bring something from my head and give enough, you know, time and enough effort to to share it with somebody and elaborate on it with somebody is enough. And that's something I'm coming to now. Like it's so easy to carry yourself to such a high standard when just the simplest act of putting something out there you made is enough. These pieces are accomplishments. I like to store them and it might give me a a, a gross feeling to have so much work around me like why am I hoarding so much work? But at the end of the day I look at it and it is like a constant reminder something I made 3 years ago, something I made uh 7 years ago is there living in the space while I'm creating new work that is completely different. So to me, it is good to kind of hoard your work in a way, just even if it's to show you how far you've come. Um, and different mediums say different things. I'm coming into that now. One aspect is performance art. My body in performance art is my medium, and that says so many different things. When somebody can connect through a physical appearance, and that means says different levels uh, compared to maybe a painting. Um, something that is uh composed of lines and perspective and space and however you want to name it but different mediums say different things and i think that i'm coming into that and 
seeing that successful. I'm Selena Ferrer, and I'm a Puerto Rican artist, and I hope to keep on spreading creativity every time that I come to the easel and that I do a show and that I want to speak on how art and how, how important it is.